Grenade by Alan Gratz, Part 1, pages 57 through 60. Hideki. Bonsai. Hideki and the other boys crept toward the delicious smell, and sure enough, there they were, American soldiers. There were almost 20 of them, sitting around a cook fire or in holes they had dug in the ground. Some of them wrote letters or cleaned their guns. Others were eating a pig they'd cooked up. Hideki could hear their voices on the breeze, the long, slow, deep, slurred sounds of English that made no sense to him. None of the soldiers had seen or heard them yet, which meant the Blood and Iron Student Corps had the element of surprise. This really was Hideki's moment of glory, but he wasn't feeling so bold anymore. This was going to be a violent battle. This might be the moment he died. One of the other boys, Takashi, must have been thinking the same thing, too. Hideki could see him sobbing quietly a few meters away. Shigatomo's Mabui tugged at Hideki's gut, and Hideki took a step back. Here's what we'll do, Yoshio whispered at Hideki's side, making him jump. We'll crawl closer, and then, when we're all in range, I'll whistle and kathoom! A grenade exploded close enough to knock them over, and Hideki's ears rang from the explosion. What, what happened? He asked as he pulled himself back up on his knees. Takashi killed himself! He blew himself up with his own grenade, one of the boys yelled in horror. Was it an accident, or had Takashi killed himself out of fear? Hideki was still gaping, still trying to understand when he heard the American soldiers cry out in alarm. The element of surprise was gone. The Americans were going for their guns. They would be on top of Hideki and the others in seconds. Attack! Attack! Yoshio cried. He pulled the pin on his grenade whacked the brass igniter on a rock, and hurled the grenade. It went off with a poom a few meters away. Hideki couldn't see what Yoshio had hit, because a second later, the bullet started flying. Peck, 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 peck! Hideki barely had room to curl up and hide behind a shredded tree stump. He watched as a fifth year named Ginsei couldn't get to cover in time. Ginsei was hit again and again by bullets, his body dancing, like a broken puppet before he crumpled to the ground. Hideki had never seen somebody die before. His own body shook uncontrollably, like he was the one being hit, and tears sprang to his eyes. Banzai! Some of the boys cried, and Hideki heard one or two more grenades explode. The American bullets became a deadly hailstorm, and Hideki clenched himself into a tight, shaking ball. He looked at the grenade he held in his hand, he knew he should be brave. He knew he should stand up and throw his grenade and kill as many Americans as he could, the way Lieutenant Colonel Sano had told him to. But he couldn't do it. His fear froze him. He couldn't move. Off to his right, his friend Katsumasa stood, grenade in hand. Long live the Emperor! he cried. Katsumasa threw his grenade with all his strength. Grenade hit a tree, bounced right back at Katsumasa, and exploded in his face with a boom. <coughs> The blast knocked Hideki from his hiding place, and he landed on his back with a thump that knocked the wind from him. He gasped for air and swallowed a scream. This was a disaster. It wasn't supposed to go like this. This wasn't what it had been like in training. It was all happening so fast, and they had no control over any of it. Hideki was going to die here. They were all going to die here. His eyes darted around, looking for somewhere to hide. But all he saw was the decimated hillside. Less than half a dozen of the boys were still alive and fighting. The rest had been shot or blown apart. And if he didn't get out of here, Hideki was going to join them.